Today I'm doing the 18 to 105 review. Hey there, folks, welcome back to the Photo Video Show. We explore all things photography. I'm your host, Mark Puckett, and on today's show, I'm going to be doing the 18 to 105 Power Zoom G Lens review. You guys asked for it after you saw the video from last week, so I figured, yeah, sure, why not? I don't do many lens reviews per se, but this is a pretty important lens. I really love this lens, and I think that you guys will as well, so I bringeth forth the information that you requesteth. So before I begin, let me just go ahead and say right off the bat that if you're one of those guys or gals that loves a really hardcore technical review where there's lots of numbers and resolution charts and all that kind of stuff, you're not going to find any of that kind of shit on my reviews. I like the overarching aesthetics of a lens or a camera or how those items process it. I was never all that good at math anyway, so I just don't really give a shit. So I'm just going to quit yip yapping and get this mother grabber started. So what you're oogling at is the Sony 18 to 105 millimeter constant aperture f4 G lens with power zoom and optical steady shot. Overall, this is an extremely well-built lens. It's not a full-frame lens, unfortunately. It is marketed almost exclusively for APS-C size sensors. And one of the biggest selling points for me is the fact that, yes, it is a zoom lens, so I get a really nice range on an APS-C size sensor, but it does all of that zooming inside the barrel, so you don't have it extending beyond its original dimensions. It has a maximum aperture of four and a minimum aperture of 22. It has 16 elements in 12 different groups, and it has seven aperture blades. And it really does keep a nice round bokeh all the way throughout the focal range. I did hear some complaints about the thread size being 72 millimeters as opposed to 77, but it's no big deal. Now, compared to the kit lens 16 to 50, some people say it looks a little too big on the Sony a6000. I don't necessarily think so, but if you're comparing it to the kit lens, this lens is a massive jump in size. As you can see, this lens is about three to four times bigger than the 16 to 50, but the quality and the performance that you get out of this lens, absolutely sharp. The contrast is amazing. The color rendition is awesome. But if you're a photographer on the go and size and weight is really that important to you, just stick with the kit lens. For me though, the solid build, the relatively lightweight, the great colors, the fine details, the fast and silent autofocus, it's probably the best bang for the buck. If you put this on either your Sony A5000, A5100, the A6000, any of the NEX cameras, this could easily be one of the best $500 investments you could make into your Sony kit. I actually think that as far as the weight is concerned, I was pretty surprised when I pulled it out of the box. It weighs in at only 427 grams or just over 15 ounces. I honestly think that it feels just right. A few people I've heard say that it feels a bit unbalanced. If you think about it, most of the time if you're hand holding anyway, you've got it in your offhand, you're coupling that lens, you're holding it, you're making sweet, sweet love to it. It doesn't feel any worse than any other lens you've ever put in your hands. So, so far for me, the biggest negative is the electronic operation is a lot harder on the camera's battery than say like a mechanically zoomed lens. It also increases the startup and wake up time for the lens because it resets back to 18 millimeters every single time that you turn the camera off. And just for you pixel peepers out there, I actually tried really hard to create some color fringing or some chromatic aberration and I just couldn't, I'm sorry. But what I was able to create are some really rich, deep, contrasty, beautiful looking images for you. I mean, honestly, look at that depth of field. It goes into macro mode so easily and you only have about a half a meter worth of focusing distance. And if I haven't mentioned this yet, I absolutely love the grain pattern that the A6000 creates and it looks even better when combined with this 18 to 105G lens.
Okay, so now I'm outside and I basically just want to show you guys exactly how smooth this power zoom really is. So I've got this building, it's about 200 yards away and I'm just gonna use the power switch here on the side of the barrel and full blast all the way in and now full blast all the way out. Full blast in. Full blast all the way out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to show you how you can actually slow toggle uh, the switch to make it go slow, uh, slower than full blast and works really well too. So I'm ticking it up and it's going about one millimeter per cycle here. Constantly re-grabbing focus the entire time. Slow in, slow in. All right, we're at 105. Now I'll go back again, and I'll try and do it between uh, a little bit faster than that. That was one millimeter per cycle. That looks like it's going at about three or four millimeters per cycle, but it goes at variable variable speeds based on how hard or how soft you use your switch. So next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the uh, lens and camera and I'm just gonna do some handheld footage and kind of show you guys what this is uh, all about. All right, so I am actually holding the uh, camera and the lens in my hand right now and I'm just kind of panning around. Now what I'll do is I will pan and zoom the same time and you can really nail a shot and never have to do anything you know with a tripod a tripod only enhances what this thing can actually do so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna try to actually walk and shoot and kind of see what well, I've never done this before, so I'm going to try and walk and shoot at the exact same time and see what kind of results I get. So I am at the widest angle right now, and I am walking, walking. It's uneven ground. I'm trying to heel, heel to toe it as much as possible. Now what I'll do is I will zoom all the way in, and this should only exacerbate handheld footage. So. And yes, you can see there's quite a bit more shake in the video, but it really does a really, a really fantastic job of kind of smoothing out those rougher edges. Yeah, on the wide focal range, as long as you had a subject that was relatively close to you, and you were sort of just, you know, tracking, yeah, like this, at the wide angle end, it could easily be done handheld. I think that's pretty impressive, honestly. So my final thoughts on this, the 18 to 105 G lens are overwhelmingly positive. I have really don't have anything bad to say about it. Like I said earlier in the review, the battery life sucks a little bit uh, just because the whole thing is electronic. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with it. The weight, the build, I don't know. There's just something really sexy about it. And for videographers, people like me that do YouTube videos and have to do a lot of explaining and videographers, you're going to love this lens. And whether you're on an NEX camera or one of uh, Sony's uh, video cameras or if you're on a full frame uh, A7, you all are going to find a use for this lens, especially for the price. I mean, we're literally talking five to six hundred dollars here. You get the G moniker, so you get to be a G. What's up? So in my mind, if there was in fact one kind of do-it-all lens, video, photography, this would be it. I mean, without a, without a doubt, I mean, it is the perfect upgrade. If you're only looking for one lens, you're only looking for one piece of kit that you want to use for both your videos and your photography, get this lens. 
So there you have it, there you go, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up, share the video with y'all friends, share it on social media, Twitter and the Facebook, and all those other ones that I don't use. And don't forget that if you genuinely are interested in this lens, I provided a link down below, so if you click that and you buy that, it helps keep me motivated to do more videos. And I really wanna stay motivated, so motivate me. I dare you. At any rate, thanks again for stopping right here at the Photo Video Show. I'm your host, Mark Puckett, and I will see you guys again on the next one.